this video I'm going to show you how to add and customize the testimonial item to your website. So here I'm going to hit add an element. I'm going to search for testimonial. There it is. I'm going to hit OK. So here is the testimonial configuration. I can select an image here. I'm going to select this photo. This looks good. And it shows up in a little circle over here. Uh, typically, this is uh, used for someone's profile photo. For example, if they share it on a Google review, they have a profile photo. It's good to add it there. It gives it a human touch, makes it feel like it's a legitimate review. Change the image width here. As you can see, the more and more I change this, the bigger and smaller it gets. And change the image position here. So if I go to the top, center, left, and right. You can see whenever I select right, the entire review, the entire testimonial becomes right aligned now. So I'll switch it back to left here. Name is the name of the person. And then company is the name of the person's company if, for example, they're coming from a company reviewing your company. I can change the text size right here. I can change the amount of stars here as well. So if for some reason you wanted to put a testimonial with one star on your site, you can go ahead and do that right here. And here I can target CSS. If you're familiar with CSS, you can tar target a class right here and then work on it in your site's custom CSS editor. And I can change the visibility right here. So if for some reason I wanted this to only show up on certain devices or be hidden on certain devices, I can do this right here to make sure that everybody has the best experience no matter what device they are on. So once I'm happy with these settings, I can hit apply. I'll hit update just in case anything goes wrong. I can make sure my saves, my changes were saved. And I can click in this text box here and open the text editor. And this is just a regular text editor. So this is, would be the uh, testimonial headline. And this would be the testimonial itself. This would be the review that the customer made. Once you have everything in there and everything looks right, we can apply these changes again, hit update. And this is now live on the website, and uh, everybody can see that testimonial, and hopefully that'll get you even more business. If you have any questions about the testimonials or anything else, go ahead and give us a contact. We'll be in touch shortly, and we'll be happy to help. Thank you.